Welcome to New Mexico Black Rifle Operators Union. I'm your host, Sean. I got to look at that bill that was passed in Oregon. Holy moly. Pretty much, it is what I see as a leftist wet dream. Uh, there are ba magazine bans, obviously, but they're requiring insurance. They're requiring you to go through a mental health background check, a physical. It's basically European-designed gun control brought to the United States, approved by the American voter in Oregon. Now, where do I see? Since this past voter inspection, I can see them trying when I say them, the left, um, anyone anti-2A, in fact, I wouldn't even leave it to the left. There's a lot of uh, Republicans that are anti-gun that hide. But I can see, um, definitely can see now, that that's going to be the ground game for 2024 is they're going to go hard on gun rights. Um, we're in a lull right now, as it looks like the Republicans... Um, may have taken the majority. They're still up in the air. There's been some elections for the Speaker of the House. Um, more importantly today, as far as the news goes, uh, Poland got hit with a missile from Ukraine today. Now, this was, seems like it was an errant attack, meaning that they were meaning to hit inside Ukraine, but the missile didn't land where it was supposed to two people died they're still investigating stuff it looks like a total accident however this also is kind of how the united states ended up in the gulf of tonkin and then ended up in vietnam so i will like everyone else wait and see but back to the oregon thing i can see what they tried to push in oregon happen in new mexico we have the right environment that they have politically. So we have a very leftist governor, authoritarian governor, just like they do. I can see our governor pushing this saying, well, it's been so successful in Oregon. Look how low their crime has dropped. Crime statistics in Oregon are through the roof. Appeasing leftist, uh, communist, Marxist never works. Um, Anytime we try to appease them or make a concession, it's never enough. That's why I started New Mexico Black Rifle Operators Union. They will not be happy until there are no firearms in civilian hands. That is counterproductive to the United States and to the American ideal. Anyone who's ever advocated for that, I see them as a devout Marxist wanting to change the fundamentally change the way the United States works. The whole reason of the Second Amendment is to make our government realize that there are repercussions for not acting upon the whims of the people or the will of the people. While we are not a direct democracy, direct democracy suck. Uh, that's two wolves deciding what they're going to have for lunch. Uh, the Second Amendment means that the lamb decides or the third party gets to, si has, gets to have a say in the vote. Now, it's weird that they're going after mental health. While I agree mental health is a problem, having you pass a mental health background check, I see twofold, two problems. One is it invites them to other, and when I say other, mean put people in a group a group of class of people um, that aren't allowed to do something or, as they call it, a protected class. What I see them doing is at any time in the future, they deem us a terrorist, any one of us a terrorist, for saying what we say, doing what we do, owning the firearms we do, whatever. There will be a point in time that the federal government decides that you are another and there has been for a long time conspiracies around what would happen there now conspiracies have a grain of truth that's what makes them so believable 
And one that's been going around for a long time is that there are codes for American civilians. And that is the truth. There is really a thing is that. The DHS has a code for us. Uh, code black usually means dead, but it also means that um, we are the guys to be separated from anyone and troublemakers and instigators, leaders. Um, there's a red. They've color-coded them just like injuries and other stuff for NIMS. Um, if you're not a f familiar with NIMS, NIMS is what paramedics and fire and EMS use to identify casualties or deaths. They've turned that into ideas for what was going to be FEMA camps. FEMA camps are real. Now what they're used for, that's speculation. It's always been thought that the FEMA camps were in case we had a migrant crisis, we would house them there. Interesting that we're not using FEMA camps when we have a migrant crisis going on. Those camps do exist. Now what's in them? Who knows? There's a lot of video going around. But giving them an inch with the 2A, we know, is a losing proposition. When I first started shooting firearms, um, I was three or four years old. I grew up in the 80s and early 90s. I would say 80s and 90s. Okay, With that, I remember going to the gun store when I was seven or eight and seeing a fully automatic M16 on the wall. And it was perfectly legal. Now that had to be before 1986. But I remember very clearly seeing it. There was a gun store that opened up across from San Juan Apartments in Farmington, New Mexico. Didn't stay in business very long. And there's a strip mall there. There's where I remember seeing the tactical weapons. They also had a fully automatic Kalashnikov. Hmm. I wonder why I would remember that. Being known as an AK guy in my parlance. So, if we were once that free in my lifetime, and now we have to apply for NICS background checks for everything... Uh, in New Mexico, uh, we do have red flag laws. So if you are a nut job or a perceived nut job, even by your ex, they can go after your guns. I live, fortunately, in northwest New Mexico, where there would have to be a string of instances uh, or things to happen for our sheriff or our law enforcement to go after you. You would have to show you really are a nut job. Now, that said... In other places, less um, less user-oriented, less citizen-oriented, let's say it that way, they would, for a fact, go after your guns with red flag laws. In Albuquerque and Santa Fe, they've tried that a couple times. I don't know how well it's being used. What's really funny is the police chief of Albuquerque, or now the police chief, was the one that was behind all this, saying they needed the extra tools uh, to put away more criminals. Uh, fast forward, we're 2022, November 15th, and crime is still high as hell in New Mexico. So that didn't have any effect. I think after three years of government overreach, we can honestly say the government has no clue what the hell they're doing. I tell you this all the time, free men don't ask permission. Um, you take the law, you do what you need to do, you abide, you don't abide, that's on you. That said, it's rapidly becoming an issue that some of these laws are going to encroach on you. Miles may vary, I don't intend on complying. Like, share, subscribe, be great.